There's a list of unexplained sounds on Wikipedia from the NOAA, and this is a look at every single one of them. There's a sound coming from the Pacific Ocean that hasn't stopped since 1991, and it sounds like this. What would you do if you poked your head underwater and heard that? The sound, named upsweep, has appeared on underwater microphones or hydrophones since the US Navy's SOSUS sonar array began recording in August of 1991. At its core, the sound is a series of upsweeping sounds that last for several minutes and repeat forever, or seemingly. The interesting thing is that the sound fluctuates based on the seasons and is large enough to be heard from nearly anywhere in the Pacific. A moment of silence for all of the fish that have to listen to this every day. The source sound has been pinpointed to be around 54 degrees south and 140 degrees west, and researchers think that the sound is due to volcanic activity, but really aren't sure as no one has ever exactly found what's making the noise. Online sleuths, of course, think that the noise is coming from something much more ominous. Whatever it is, it's incredibly creepy. What do you think's behind the upsweep sound? A secret submarine base? A giant monster? Or is it just a giant volcano that could explode and destroy the Earth? Who knows? I'm, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. In 1997, this sound was heard from an unknown location in the Pacific Ocean over thousands of miles. was the sound played at 16x normal speed. It gets even creepier when played in real time. Watch until the end to listen to that. Dubbed the whistle by researchers, it was recorded by the NOAA, or the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, on their array of underwater hydrophones. It sounds as though there's a giant creature whistling in the distance. However, this sound was only picked up by one hydrophone, meaning that whatever made it was likely very close. Unlike other mysterious sounds that researchers claim are ice sheets, scientists believe that this sound might be due to underwater volcanic activity. However, so much of the ocean still lies unstudied that there's really no telling what could have made this still unidentified sound. Now, here's the sound played in real time. This noise perplexed scientists for over a decade. That noise was heard by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, in 1997, and it bewildered researchers for years. The sound was heard in a very remote portion of the Pacific Ocean, near the southern tip of South America, and was detected by several hydrophone arrays. Hydrophones are essentially underwater microphones, and the NOAA had several series of them set up autonomously to capture mysterious sounds just like this. The first autonomous array was used in the Cold War to detect Soviet submarines. Usually, researchers would use the sounds recorded to learn about seismic activity and marine animals, but the mysterious bloop was something different. The NOAA described the noise as rising rapidly in frequency over about one minute and was of sufficient amplitude to be heard at a range of over 5,000 kilometers, or 3,000 miles, from its origin. 
If it originated from the central United States, you would be able to hear it at the northern tip of Canada or all the way down in Colombia. This was a massive noise. The NOAA's chief researcher at the time, Dr. Christopher Fox, didn't believe that the origin of the bloop was man-made, nor that it was a result of a volcano or an earthquake. Fox believed that the audio profile of the bloop resembled a large living creature, a creature that makes a deafening bloop sound. Even with this assumption and the gathered data, Fox stated that the source would remain a mystery primarily because the amplitude of the noise far exceeded the capabilities of any known animal on Earth. Researchers began speculating that the noise may have been a result of ice calving in Antarctica, but many still held on to the idea that it was made by some creature, including the NOAA's lead researcher, Dr. Fox. This lingering hypothesis led to years of speculation by the public, and even led to the animal theory coming to a scientific consensus in 2002. Still, researchers continued to question the noise. As scientists continued analyzing the spectrogram of the bloop, they started to match up key points with similar spectrograms of ice quakes recorded elsewhere in the world. The idea that the bloop came from animal origin slowly crumbled as researchers matched up much of its spectrographic variability with observances in other ice calving events. Oceanographer Dr. Yun Bo Zhi noted that the waveforms of the sound's origin could have easily been influenced by angular frequency dependent radiation patterns associated with anti-symmetric mode motion of ice cover. In plain English, the bloop sound could be a result of the original noise being distorted as it propagated through ice cover. By 2012, the idea of an animal that would have created such a sound faded and the scientific community decided that the bloop was made by ice calving in Antarctica. This ultimate conclusion wasn't accepted by many around the world, and it continues to be the center of many pop culture conspiracy theories, such as the existence of mermaids or top secret nuclear explosions. In March 1999, NOAA, the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, heard this sound. It was loud enough that it was heard over the entire Pacific Ocean in a range of roughly about 3,000 miles, captured on an array of underwater microphones called hydrophones that NOAA uses to listen to underwater events. So what made this sound? no one knows for sure. The sound lasted for a total of 15 seconds, and it's believed to have originated somewhere around Cape Adair, off the tip of Antarctica. Researchers generally think that the sound was an iceberg, breaking free or rubbing against other ice or stone around the continent, but some aren't sure. Some people online have even claimed that the NASA 33A5 imaging satellite picked up a large underwater shadow in the region at the time of the sound, but for the most part, this appears to be conspiracy and misinformation, as no official documentation from NASA, at least and more, exists on the claim. So, what do you think made the Julia? Was it an iceberg, or was it a giant sea creature? We may never know. In May of 1997, this sound was heard deep in the Pacific Ocean over thousands of miles. That was the sound played at 16x speed, but it gets even creepier when it's played in real time. Watch till the end of this video to listen to that. Named Slow Down by researchers, it was recorded by NOAA, or the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, on their array of underwater microphones. It was given its ominous name because it decreases in frequency over about seven minutes, and the creepier part is that the sound wasn't recorded just once. It reportedly happens about three times per year at varying times. 
It can also be heard across thousands of miles in the Pacific. And this is perhaps one of the most mysterious underwater sounds due to its unique audio structure. Researchers at NOAA theorize it could be caused by friction between sliding ice sheets and land in Antarctica, but have no real way to confirm that this is the true source. Whatever is making the sound, it's absolutely massive and still around somewhere in the Pacific as the sounds keep happening. What do you think is causing the slowdown to repeat every few months? While you think about that, let's play the sound in real time. What would you do if you heard this sound while swimming in the ocean? While that was the sound played at 16 times normal speed, it gets even stranger slowed down in real time. Stay tuned until the end to listen to that. This sound was heard in March of 1997, and researchers have dubbed it the train, due to its steady repeating frequency that sounds like a train horn. But here's the strange part. The sound was heard on the Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array, a massive array of underwater microphones set up by the US Navy. The microphones originally were intended to track Soviet submarines, but after the collapse of the Soviet Union, they're now used for research purposes, and it gets creepier. The train sound was loud enough to be heard across thousands of miles of the Pacific. Like with many other underwater sounds, NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, believes that the sound was likely caused by ice sheets in Antarctica, but many aren't so quick to take this explanation. While the original sound was sped up by 16x, as is typical with many of these underwater sounds, the sound played in real time is even creepier. Let's listen to that now.
so, what do you think made the train sound? Was it something like a mysterious monster often theorized, like about the bloop sound? Or was it actually an underwater train? Or was it something mundane like ice sheets in Antarctica? We may never know.